Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to write logic for subtraction. What are the other way in TM1 to do, sub to do subtraction in TM1? So let's begin. For that, I have uh, created a dimension test measure where I have created three uh, added three elements sub subs for subtraction and A and B. Okay. And one more dimension I created value dim where I have added one element which is name is value. Okay. And with the help of two dimension, I have created a test queue where we do subtraction. Let me open this queue. So now I am going to do subtraction A minus B. Okay. So we can do it via write a uh, rules in in the queue let me add, add a queue also rule file okay so i'm going to add this okay let me add it and and for the numeric and a minus b Single quotes A and minus B semicolon. So let me go to one Q view. So result will be ten. Okay. I have not added a skip check so that well so the I, I don't need to write a feeder for it but uh, when uh, you have multiple queue uh, logic in in the queue in the rule file so you may need to add a escape checks for as well as feeder for it okay if i write a escape check here escape check and let me save this queue now you now what will happen this subs uh, element is uh, this uh, will be this pair let me recalculate you can see because when we write skip check it it is skip the zeros but you know it is not zero right because there is uh, uh, one uh, algorithm in TM1 which is uh, you uh, consolidation algorithm which is skip the zeros. So uh, the rule calculate value it consider as a zero so that uh, so that reason your uh, values get uh, despair. This is uh, called feeder issue, right? So in this case, you need to write a feeder for it, right? Feeders. So how how do do feed it left left to right? In the case of subtraction, you need to feed it with both, right? Feeder symbol is zero. A feed it to subs. Right. Same. I need to write footer for B. Let me set this rule file. Let me enable subspace zero. Subspace zero. Now you will see. No, this is not disappear because now I have fitted it. Means it said it sets a flagging on the rule derived value. Means now your value will be considered as a non-zero value. So in this way, this is first way to do subtraction in TM1 via writing a logic in on rule file. So in this case, what you need to do 
you need to create a rule file and uh, write a feeder for it which is very uh, you may say uh, right uh, you need to write a feeder for it you need to write a logic and uh, there is another way to do subtraction in tm1 that we can handle in a hierarchy using vitals right let me has out all the logic okay let me save it exit okay so second way is you need to do some changes in your hierarchy right let me this is my major dimension so now i will add a one under another element which name is c let me add a insert element i am going to add a c element c simple type i am going to make it child of subs and i am going to make this child of subs and i am going to make the build as a child of c okay there is one magic trick now i'm going to play with what is let me right click on it element properties click on here and here now you can see is what is is currently one i'm going i'm going to change is what is minus a okay click on okay click on save okay let me open this cube now you can see result is 10 and you will not see your minus because we are playing with what is let me select all now you can see here in property screen the what is of c is minus 1 okay your result is 10 in this case you don't need to write a business logic for it not a feeder for it so this is simple case in, in this case your performance will be better so you need to abide uh, write a uh, rules for it as much you can try to do subtraction in a, in a hierarchy you can maintain it okay so let me suppose uh, we can do one more thing suppose uh, i have one scenario suppose uh, there is one uh, if i want to do make the weightage of it of 2 we can change the weightage from minus 1 to 2 let me do do it click on edit edit structure but it is all Go to one right click on it. See, I'm going to change its weight is of from one to two. Save it. Let me go on here. You can see, you can see now one one multiplied by uh, multiplied by two means C as a two and its roll up as a thirteen. You can see. let me open it select all now you can see weight is of c is 2 so you can uh, play with weight is and uh, you can apply it on a business logic as your uh, your business requirement so you can uh, is uh, need need to avoid to write a logic uh, if any such uh, cases uh, needed in in your business requirement so i hope you like this video if you are new on my channel please do subscribe my channel thank you